Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, then that means you picked hanging gems for your Trash Panda Treasure subscription box. Let's take a look at what you got in your bag and how to put it all together. Okay, so if you dump out what's inside your cup, you're gonna have enough to make three of these. So all of these straws, embroidery thread, and pipe cleaners. Um, you're gonna have longer straws, you're gonna have shorter straws, um, three longer and six shorter for each gem. So I'm gonna use one of these pipe cleaners as a needle. So I'm gonna flip over the end a little bit like a hook. Then when you pull out your embroidery thread, however much you wanna start with, I usually do the length of my arms, um, you're just gonna set it in between that hook Fold the hook on the pipe cleaner all the way closed, and then I'm going to twist it once or twice. This will let you put the thread through the straws really easily. You don't have to tie it, um, the pipe cleaner should hold it. And we are going to start with three of the shorter straws. I'm using all the same color, you definitely do not have to do that. Um, but we want to put them in kind of a triangle shape. And then taking your pipe cleaner needle, you're going to thread your embroidery thread through each of those straws. Once you have done that, pull that through, um, kind of form it back into the triangle shape, and you're gonna pull the thread almost all the way through, and then you're basically gonna tie a double knot. And you want it to be, you want the knot to be strong enough that your straws are going to keep that triangle shape. So go ahead and pull it together and then knot it. And we'll worry about cutting off the tail later. For now, we just want to make sure that it keeps its shape. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is take two more of the shorter length of straw. And basically, we're gonna do the same thing using one side of that triangle that you already made. We're going to pass your thread through those two straws and then pull it all the way through so that you can make another triangle shape. And then you'll end up passing, we'll do this a lot, where you will pass your um, needle through a straw that it's already been through, um, just to make sure that you've got a strong, sturdy shape. Okay. And then you can tie another knot to make sure that that shape will hold in place as well. Now take your last short straw. And basically, we're going to sew it onto the end like this. So it, it kind of looks like the swordfish nose on a fish. So you'll go back through one of your triangles until you get to the pointy end. Then you'll take your needle through the, the last short straw. And what we're going to do is take that end where your thread is coming out and combine it to the other pointy end. So you're taking the far left and the far right, bringing them together to make a pyramid shape. And when you bring those together, you'll pass your thread through the, far, the straws on the far right. So it should all come together and hold that 3D shape. And what I like to do is go ahead and go around a little bit um, with the thread. So anywhere where the three ends of the straws are not holding together as tightly as you'd like, go ahead and, and pass that thread through until they do hang together nicely. You'll always have one end that you could kind of pull away. If you put your, th your thread through th that straw, um, it'll help hold it together just a little stronger. And then once you've done that, we can go ahead and tie off a knot again to ensure that the pyramid will keep that shape. Then 
we are going to start taking a look at those three longer straws. Um, and we're basically going to take two of them and kind of repeat the, the second step that we did there after we made our first triangle. So we're going to pass the thread through one and then two. and then pull it tight enough so that you've got a triangle with the short straw as the bottom and the two longer making the point. And then we're basically going to do the final move from our tiny pyramid. We're going to take that last longer straw, pass the string through, turn the whole thing over so that our two pyramids are facing opposite directions. So you have a point at the top with a small pyramid and a long point at the bottom with the larger pyramid. And again, you'll take your straw, um, you'll pass your thread back through the straw wherever you need to to ensure that that shape stays solid. Um, if you run out of thread in the middle, that's totally fine. Um, you just tie it off and then you attach another piece. Um, and you can also not be limited to only, I did a, a three-sided shape. You could do a four-sided shape. You could do a five-sided shape. Um, you just need more straws. So it, there is a little bit of room for you guys to experiment with this one. And then when you're all done and you tie off the end, um, you can hang it for more thread in your window. Uh, I have mine hanging off my library cart. <laughs> Um, but the iridescence looks really cool in the light, um, and it is, you know, a cool 3D object. And then at the very last, you can trim off any thread that's left where you don't want it. And there you go. Hanging gem.